moisture is the essence of wetness. And wetness is the essence of beauty. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup with a palette that I got and I unboxed it in a recent video. If you guys didn't watch it, I did like a sit down unboxing PR video. And that was really fun for me to just kind of go through and see some new products and do it on camera with you guys. I also chatted with you guys about some really kind of big life things that have been going on lately. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it up here. But I received this and it's just such a stunning collection and I've wanted to use it. I really hate this top I'm wearing by the way. So I feel like I need to change it before I get started. I feel like it needs to be black, but either way, it's the Laura Lee and Manny MUA's Lunar Beauty Full Fantasy Color Palette. So they collabed on a palette. And my God, it just looks so beautiful. And I wanna do like a really bold, beautiful look. I'm going out to dinner with my friend tonight and I am like wanting to look hot. Why? It's another mom. I don't know, I wanna look pretty. <gasps> oh, it just, I feel like this is it for me because this is such a beautiful palette. And look at the colors here. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be good. So there's the palette. And then there's also a blush palette and the packaging of these is so stunning. Like look at the front of this. So typically Lunar Beauty does like the moon, but this is a sun. Dude, I'm obsessed. I think Lunar Beauty's packaging might be one of my favorite. It's so stunning and unique, but also not too much. It's just like, ah, it's really good. Crack this sucker open. So this is the blush palette and I feel like these colors are so bold and stunning. And I just, oh, look here. So it's got all of these blushes. I think these might be considered highlights in the palette, but look at that. Beautiful. So I am gonna use these and then there's also two lip products as well. Oh, Mora and Lanny. How cute is that? So I've got the little packaging, if it would ever focus, thank you. And then let's see what the lip products look like. I think Manny's brand has, oh yeah, really good packaging. Ooh, look at that. Hello? Focus on my hand, you stupid fuck. Okay, so this is the packaging here and then Lunar Beauty, you press it in. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. If you could ever, hello, thank you. So that's, what shade is this one? Mora, let's see Lanny. Copper Eye Nude Lip, uh, I shall be using you, thank you. All right, so I'm just going to do my makeup. I was gonna, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to kind of do, it's, this is like a shirt I got from Christy Dawn and while it's pretty, I'm like, it's just, I feel like it's not the most becoming color on me because of my skin. It kind of, I blend in with it. I need like a more pink. I'm feeling very pink. Barbie's out right now. Am I one of those Barbie people? As a kid, I loved a good Barbie, okay? I said this yesterday on my threads and I was like, everyone, and I mean everyone, looks good in pink. I have not seen one person that doesn't look good in pink because everyone's doing all these pink makeup looks, these pink outfits. It looks good on everybody. I don't have anything pink. I feel like in my entire wardrobe, I don't have a singular pink item. This is the pinkest I get, and this is like a dust, dusty rose. I don't know. <sighs> All right, well, cool story, nobody cares, but I'm gonna go pick my makeup on and let's do it. I also got some lashes from Melt Cosmetics. I picked up, I put on all of these, what? I'm just excited to try it out. So I not even sure when the last time I did one of these videos is, when is the last time? Who knows? But I have been back and obsessed with this. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And I, if you guys have been watching me for a, a while, you know that I'm, I used to be literally obsessed with this. It's such a good product and it is now the only thing I'll ever use again. I feel like I'm just obsessed with it. So this is the shade I Linen and I, I just love it so much. It's such a beautiful product. It goes on so well. It covers everything, but not overly. You can really cake it on if you need to have like super, super full coverage, or you can do what I'm doing right now and like buff it out. And it just, oh, the product is so stinking good. I bought these from Sephora like, I went to the mall with my friend like a month and a half ago, and I have not used a singular other foundation in the last month and a half. It's so good. I can't believe how much I forgot about these. They're so good. I didn't forget, but I had just run out and it seems so stupid to buy new makeup when you have such a big makeup collection. It's like, just use what you have. And I still feel that way, but man, if you haven't used the Hourglass Vanish Stick in a while, it's just so good. Do you guys have any other recommendations for stick foundations that I might really like? I'm not wanting that full, full coverage look anymore. Look y'all, we got to talk about Meredith Duxbury. I don't know why. 
Why do we need to? Why? I know the virality of it. I know that it's gotten you where you are. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot with it. I don't know her. She might be just a lovely person. But every time I see that foundation go on like that, every part of my soul cringes. I know it works. I know it got her where she is. I know that it made people click on it. People just love to be outraged, myself included. I'm watching it just like, why? I know why. It's not because you really like it like that. I'm sure of it. I'm sure it's because it's very clickable. It's very um, engaging for people to see because it's like very triggering to see somebody use so much foundation on an already perfect complexion and to erase all of the freckles and just how it goes on the eyelids and you're using your fingers and it goes all, <gasps> I can't, I can't with it. So I just had to say it, okay? As I'm putting this foundation on, feeling like that amount, that's good. But does it make anybody else crazy like it makes me? I can't stand it. It makes me actually sick. I'm, okay, calm down. <laughs> it really doesn't make you sick. But it's just like, stop. <sighs> okay, calm down, calm down. Okay, so on to concealer. I don't know, man. I used to do things for views too. Like uh, I used to make like really, 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 really hideous faces in thumbnails on Instagram videos. That's how I got all of my Instagram followers. I'm not even gonna lie about it. Like I'm not even gonna pretend that I didn't do it. I'd be like, because it worked, okay? And it, it's embarrassing and it is what it is, but it worked and it's, I hate it, but it doesn't work now, okay? So Instagram has changed. Everything has changed. My God, social media has changed so much. I don't even wanna talk about fucking Twitter right now, but we'll get there. Yeah, I, I'm no stranger to doing things for the views, you know? It's part of being online. You, got, you want as many views as possible. You get the people hooked and you know, they stay. And when you look like this, they weirdly used to click on that. They don't anymore, again. We're in a different era. We're in a different time frame. People now look at that and they're like, dude, enough. We get it. <laughs> you get it. It's makeup. It's really not, it's not worthy. But man, it used to be. So I really don't have any room to talk on the Miss Duxbury, but there's just some, it's visceral. It makes me like, it makes my butthole clench. Okay, my nose looks like shit, but you know what? It'll be fine. I feel like before I get on to the full makeup part of this, I need to do my brows because right now, wh where are they? I've really been liking these makeup by Mario pencil and this is classic brunette master blade. They're good. They're really good. I feel like this is what I reach for above everything. I feel like the colors are just really good. They go on really fast. I just like them. Perfect. I just can't with this shirt. I don't know what it is. I'm hating it right now. You ever just go through those times where you hate every bit of clothing that you own and you're just like, I cannot. I'm, I feel just disgusting. That's where I'm at right now. So off topic of makeup in any way, but my chickens, we've got three chickens laying eggs right now. We have 17 chickens. I love it. I love them laying eggs. Our quail have been laying for like a long time. That's what I had for breakfast actually, it was quail eggs. And But um, the chickens are laying eggs and it's so exciting. I love it. Oh my God, we have one that, so we've been getting two that lay pink eggs every day, but now we have one that's laying an olive egg and it is the most darling thing, you guys, an olive egger. I can't, I don't know which chicken it is, but it is so, so sweet. Okay, moving on from chickens. I know not everybody cares, but man, I love having them. They're the best. Brows on, those are okay brows. Let's do a little brow glue. This is the brow glue by NYX and this is in the shade medium brown. And this is real gluey, really does hold them in place. We're going for that full blown look today. Like I said, I'm going out to kind of, like it's interesting, it's just me and my friend going and we just need to have like a kid free mom date tonight. And she asked me yesterday, she's like, please, can we go? And we're going to like this really, really nice seafood place. And um, I don't know, I just wanna look like, I'm actually gonna change out of this outfit. I'm probably gonna put a dress on or something because this just feels like farmer, Joe, I'll change at the end of this video and I'll, I'll, we'll find something that's gonna be like classy and sassy. We can move on to the eyes now. Let's whip this palette out. Look at the two side by side, just quite literally stunning. You guys crushed it. So beautiful, ugh, makes me sick. So I wanna use the Lunar Beauty brushes as well because they sent a few. I'm gonna start with this guy. This is number four. And this is like a big blendy guy. So where are we gonna go with today's look? I'm feeling like I wanna start off with this shade here, Besties, 
Or you could just not focus that, thank you. I'm gonna go in with besties. Ooh, I like that color. That's, it, it literally matches my shirt that I'm going to change. This is a very soft brush. I don't wanna do a pink makeup look. I think I might do a little bit of the shade Lanny here and then maybe Fool Fam and a little bit of Mora or Girly. I don't know, there's too many choices. So there has been a lot of talk lately. I've been watching a lot of different things and I actually have an appointment coming up here soon with YouTube, actually, I believe. I mean, we'll see. I think we're gonna talk strategy, gonna talk like what's popping what's hip and with it. It's certainly not me, but I, we're gonna have a conversation in some regard about, you know, where things are going. And I think that that area is shorts and um, short form content. I was listening to another creator yesterday in a video that she made and she was talking about how all the budget right now from brands is being allocated to short form content. Ooh, I'm gonna use this brush, this looks perfect. This is the number three. And I like that a lot. I'm gonna go with Lanny on this one and I'm going to kind of run that throughout the crest. But that a lot of brands budgets are being allocated towards short form content now, like TikTok mostly. And guess who didn't jump on the TikTok bandwagon? Guess who? Yeah, this lady right here. You know why? Because I was like, TikTok? Yeah, that's gonna take off. <laughs> literally like the number one app in, in the world. Um, I literally remember seeing social media influencers. I think Manny was even one of them. It was like 2019 or 2020. I don't remember when it was. And they were like doing sponsorships for TikTok. And I remember thinking like, oh, this ain't going nowhere. TikTok, please. Oh, how wrong I was. And so I wanna ask you audience, are you on TikTok? Are you watching TikTok? Do you wanna see me on TikTok? Would you like short form content? And I, I ask this because I feel like I hear everybody shit talking on TikTok and they're like, I don't like it. It's a spy app, all these things, you know, fine. Whatever you believe in, I, I trust that you know what you're talking about. However, the money doesn't lie. And I feel like I'm seeing time and time again, that brands are allocating all of their sponsorship budgets and everything towards TikTok and short form content, which leads me to believe that's where the views are, that that's where the content is, that that's what people are watching and that's what people want. Otherwise, companies wouldn't be putting all of their resources towards that thing if that weren't true. Like they just wouldn't be. I, I, I can tell you that right now, they follow the money. And so it tells me that I'm um, not up with the times but also that um, maybe maybe the tides will shift back. It'll come back to YouTube. I don't know. Do you guys watch YouTube videos? Are you guys kind of like, dude, YouTube is dead. Let it die. Because I am a boomer and I am still on YouTube. And I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little bit. So I don't know where I'm going with this. I just want you to know, we're just kind of going on vibes right now. And this might end up looking real weird, but I have faith that we're gonna make it work. I'm going to, I'm just kind of darkening up this outer section here. But yeah, you guys can let me know what you watch because I mean, obviously, if you let me know here, you're watching YouTube videos. So that shows me that you do watch YouTube. So this isn't really like a good poll because if you poll everybody on their initial like, or respective app, like I go to TikTok and I'm like, do you guys watch TikTok? Like clearly they're on it voting. But I am just like wondering where, is the future. I'm such a boomer, I need to stop. Okay, well this eye look is weird, but you know what, we're going with it. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Cloudy, which is that lightest shade. Take it and sort of pat it here. For what reason, I don't know. That's looking like something. Who's texting me? This is looking a little intense, but here's what we're gonna do, something. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm going to do tone and a smidge, guys. When you're, when I'm done, you're gonna just absolutely shit your pants. I don't think you will, but okay. So now I wanna go in with, let's look. I'm gonna do a couple of these. <laughs> look at these shades. This is Fool Fam. This is Fool's Gold and Mora. 
I, I definitely need to take this one right here. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a bit of Fool's Gold, because I'm feeling like if I take this shade, this kind of like dirty gold, ooh, that is what it needed. I like that, mm-hmm. We're gonna do a wing on this bitch, because I'm feeling this needs a wing. So I'm hating that my pens right now are kind of garbo. I feel like I just got some liners. These are, what are they called? Ultra Matte Gel Liner. It's been a long time since I've done anything like this, but this is like a red gel liner, sort of like this gorgeous maroon shade. So let's see how this works. Ooh. Okay. I'm pulling this out a little bit more than I would because I'm gonna kind of clean up the bottom here. It's looking a little chunky. Not because of the product, but because of me. I'm gonna thicken this liner up a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little teeny tiny brush. Take a bit of Mora. Wait, not Mora, Fool's Gold. That was the one I used. Gonna line out this front. Oh, I like that. I feel like this is looking a little like 2016-ish for me. Um, I don't know. It's a little like a lot. I don't know. Okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna do the liner on the other side and I shall be right back. Okay, so I put on some lashes. <laughs> I feel like these eyes are a little bit much, but it's okay. It's still pre beautiful. It's so pretty, but it's a little like 2016 for me and it's a lot more than I'm used to. And I feel like I, it's pretty, but is it like me? I don't know, let's see. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Rare Beauty powder and I'm just kinda gonna tone a little bit of the spots down. Just a, just a smidge. I feel like we've got a little Nick's Face Awards <laughs> makeup going on here. Like, Christy, this is something, and but it isn't it. Like, I like it, I love the colors. I think the colors are so pretty and I think that the purpley kind of pinky shade with the gold is a vibe. But I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Fool's Gold. I like that color the most of all of this. And maybe I'm gonna just sort of, it's not making it better. I mean, the colors are stunning. I just feel like I'm a little behind on the times, you know? I'm a little uh, stuck in the past. So uh, what I did off camera was put on the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Rockstar in my lower waterline. And then I put on some lashes. I did Johnny from Melt Cosmetics. Those are the half lash. And then I put two chunks of these on, which are Luna. And I did two of these little bottom long chunks and I like put it on the outer portion to kind of thicken it up a bit. It's a, it's a pretty eye look. I just need to like commit and quit. As far as my bronzer's been going lately, I have been loving going back to my Hourglass. I'm back into Hourglass, you guys. It's just, I love their products so much. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette. My kiddo got a hold of it, so the bottom blush shade broke out. But I've been using this guy right down here a lot, and I just, there is a makeup artist who I follow on TikTok. And this is the makeup style. You know what it is? I need to do some of these makeup looks. Who is it? Jonathan Thorpe. Yeah, dude, these are the makeup looks. These are them. This is what is in. They are stunning. Like, look at this. I don't think I've ever had so many requests for an eyeshadow tutorial before. So before anyone gets too angry, I'm gonna bring it to you today. So I'm starting out by mapping like, out my shape. I'm sorry. So I really wanted to bring this to you as soon as possible. This eyeshadow is all about the contoured eye. So I really wanted to start out with a base. Now I like to use a cream eyeshadow. Pencil. Just the light touch and how, how people are just so good, dude. Like, I feel like that used to be me. I, I can fit a certain makeup style really well. Like I can, like I can do 2016, like, this update, I need I need an update. And you know what, this is the time. So if you guys have any updated looks you want me to try, I shall give it a go on camera and see what we can do. Because I feel like, especially seeing just what's 
new and updated about makeup. I'm I'm a little bit stuck in the same like blown out crease shimmer on the lid, which honestly is kind of what everybody else is doing, but I feel like they're just they're they're using the right the right vibe. Now this is pretty, don't get me wrong. This palette is stunning and ev like the actual performance of the shadows is next level. Like I feel like my just my blending is not so blendy. I keep wanting to be like, maybe this needs glitter. Stop. <laughs> Literally, no. Wait, you know what I want to try? This is the Makeup by Mario collection. Maybe it was three years ago. I don't know when I got this. Maybe this was like right when things launched, but either way, I remember seeing a sparkly eyeshadow in here. Yes, here it is. Ah! Okay, I haven't even played with these yet. This is Master Crystal Reflector. The camera is literally garbage at looking at how this looks. It is like just sheer sparkle. There's a gold one too. I kind of want to just, why am I doing, Ooh, okay, I, I kind of love it. It gives it like almost a wetness to it. Moisture is the essence of wetness and wetness is the essence of beauty. Okay, I, I kind of love it. <laughs> I kind of feel like that saved it for me. I want to do a whole look with the Makeup by Mario stuff. Okay, I, mm, okay. We're gonna go into the blush palette now. So this is the Fool Fantasy blush palette. And oof, I feel like I wanna go in with this guy here and this, um, maybe a combo of all three of those. I wanted to do pink today, but this ended up being a lot more like purple and depthy. So I feel like I just need to go in and do a separate look. The palette's not as pink as I guess I originally thought it was. Rose, Skyline, Peachy Keen, and Sandbar. So I kinda... Mm, okay, I'm gonna go in with more like Rose Skyline and Pink Blossom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of focusing the blush up here in the eye area, like that blush draping technique, you know? I'm kind of living for that. I feel like that looks really pretty. It's a little intense, but um, contouring my nose is something that I don't do or will, will never do. I did it back in the day. I remember I have this old video. I cannot even remember. But I contoured my nose a lot in it because everybody was contouring their nose back then. And I put bronzer on my nose, but I do it over the whole entire thing. And I remember everybody commented on that video and grinned. I had like 5,000 subscribers, but they were like, honey, that nose is not it. And I was like, what are you? They were right. Okay, so I'm gonna use this guy from Lunar Beauty. This is the number five. And I am going to go into the highlighter shade in my Hourglass palette. Because those ambient lighting powders or the whatever they're called, they're just so pretty. This is the one from Lunar Beauty. This is the one from Hourglass. So you can see just the difference in pigmentation. And it's not like that's a bad thing. It's just like, at this juncture, I am an, I have enough texture that I am kind of in more of the hourglass station of my life. I think that this texture would be so stunning on so many people. I can try just like a tad bit of it. I need to blend this out a little more. Hang on, glow to the nose. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of setting spray. I heard the one size setting spray is really good. Let me try that. Literally just almost used the makeup dissolving mist thinking it was a setting spray. That would not have been good. I'm gonna use this liner from, this is the Carly Bible Il Maquillage. Okay, this is very light. This one is Lanny. See, it's a light nude, but here's what I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker shade. This is Law of Attraction from Urban Decay. You're probably thinking, what the fuck are you doing? Adding that darker shade to the center can at times remove the buttholiness. And a light shade can look a little bit like a butthole. So that's what I always say. House Labs PhD lip oil. But honestly, what I prefer to this is the Lunar Beauty Dreamy gloss. It's the best gloss in the entire world. It's the most comfortable thing you've ever worn in your life. And I can promise you that. I need to go do this travesty of hair and change my outfit 
And you know what? When I come back, you're gonna be like, this is it. I don't, you'll, you'll see, I'll be right back. I don't know if this is the vibe or not. I changed my shirt. I put on this black ribbed number and then I need a necklace. So my necklace is downstairs. I'm not gonna go get it right now. I just had to put my kiddo down for a nap. I had to read him 16, 5,000 books and we're back. It's been a while. I feel like this is kind of giving so you guys can let me know. But I, I like the makeup look so much. I feel like the colors in this palette are so pretty. I need to play with this more, maybe less shimmer, maybe less dark. I want to go in with like, I don't know, maybe doing like a caramely vibe. Like I feel like it would be so pretty to go in with like this one, maybe this one here and some of these gold or like coppery ones. Oh, this is such a pretty palette. I really, really like it. I like the blushes a lot too. They're very pigmented and very lovely. But I'm really liking it. I feel pretty. I feel like this is like a very kind of grungy look and I really like it. So let me know what you guys think. I had fun playing with this. I really like that makeup by Mario. I want to do a whole look with just this makeup by Mario stuff because I feel like there's so many good products in there that I have yet to try. And I don't know why it's just been sitting there waiting for like the right time. But I like how it's got like this wet vibe. Like there's no, I don't know, there's, it's just so pretty. And then I actually saw Mario today talking about like this balm and he was like, how I create that like wet skin look. And it's like this clear balm. I have it, <laughs> interestingly, I didn't know I did. So I would love to try that out. Let me know if you guys enjoy seeing videos like this. If you enjoy hanging out with me, putting makeup on, I enjoyed doing it. That was really fun to do. And I like the way that this turned out. I know I've been pretty like, it's, I, you know, it, you know what it is? It's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm copper eye nude lip minus the nude lip and my, and like literally a wash of bronzer. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna have everything that I used in today's video listed in the description. I'm also gonna have my last video linked if you guys didn't see the, the one where I am doing like my PR unboxing and everything. And I tell some stories in that one about like the kitty that I found. Sorry, I'm clipping my nails. About the kitty that I found and um, also about my head and potential new diagnosis. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching my my YouTube videos and for continuing to come here. I will see you at my next video. Bye. Hi guys. Is this recording? Yes. <clears throat> nobody. And I mean nobody. No, I said this. Cut that out. I'm not loving my foundation to look like full, full coverage. Confluent. I remember. Uh, oh. I'm gonna get views. Okay, we can move on to the I and I'm going to tor sort of I'm going to tortellini, and I will see you at my next videos. What?